Self-Service Portal, SSP, of Zimbabwe Revenue Authority, Zimra. User Tutorial. How to Start. This video is the first of a series of walkthrough tutorials for taxpayers of Zimbabwe to guide them how to register themselves and sign into the self-service portal, fill in and submit taxpayer registration forms, and then, once their registrations are approved, manage all their taxpayer documentation exchange with Tax and Revenue Management System of Zimra, Zimbabwe Revenue Authority. In this lesson, we will show you how to register for SSP, sign into the portal, update your user information, email address, phone number, etc., and change the password. First let's see how to register yourselves and sign into the self-service portal. To start, please make sure you have active internet connection and then launch your internet browser, preferably Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. You will definitely do something like this. You may click the desktop shortcut or click the start button and then click the Firefox item. Now you need to navigate to the landing page of the self-service portal, enter the URL address of the portal, and press enter. The login page of the self-service portal opens. To enter self-service portal, you need valid SSP user credentials, username, and password. Provided that you are already an SSP registered user. Then enter your user credentials, and click the login button. Suppose you first need to register your SSP user account. Then please click the sign up button. The registration form opens. Depending on your Zimbabwe residency status, resident or non-resident, user registration forms differ. Check the appropriate option. Zimbabwe residents click the resident option. Non-residents have another option to click. Fill out a user registration form carefully. Note that the mandatory fields of the form are marked with red asterisk. After you entered your email address, Click the send verification code text line, and then type the code we have emailed to you. Similarly, verification is also required. When you enter a local phone number. You may also want to attach an electronic document to the registration form. To do this, click the attach file button, and then locate the file in your computer, or in your local area network, to upload. At the end, review all completed data, to ensure their accuracy. When you are all done, click the submit button. The system will first verify the entered information, and then set up the SSP user profile. Automatically, a password creation link will be generated and sent to your email address. Later on, check your mailbox for the received instructions, and follow the password creating link. Once we have registered your SSP user account, let's log in and go to your user profile. Visit the login page of the self-service portal. Type your username. Type the password. Then click the login button. On your first login attempt, verification requires. The verification code is sent to your phone number. Click inside the text box and type the code you have received. When done, click the verify button.
After verification, the welcome page of the portal opens. To access your user profile information, first click on your initials in the top right of the page, then click on user profile. User profile information first opens in non-editable mode. To start editing some data, first click the edit button. Then do your editing. And eventually, click save. To change the registered email address, first click the edit icon, then type the new email address, and click save. To change the registered phone number, again, click the edit icon, then type the new phone number, and click save. Changing the phone number requires verification. Type the code you have received. When done, click the submit button. To change the user password, first click the change password button. A pop-up window opens. Type your current SSP user password. Now type the new password. You may click here to see what you have typed. Now re-type the new password. To complete the password change, click the save button. That's it. Now you've seen the steps required to register your SSP user account, log into the portal, view and edit some of your user profile information, update the contact details, and even change the current password. Thanks for watching.